Hey, everybody. Happy Halloween. Dr. Robin McKay here and welcome to this week's edition of your weather report or weather forecast. And I'm so happy to be here with you. If you're here with me live, say hi in the comments so I can say hi back. If you're new to my world in the actualization zone, welcome. The way that the weather report works is, of course, I don't actually report on the physical weather that we might be experiencing around the world, but instead I really tune into the non-physical energies, the influences that are coming through. This isn't an astrology report or anything like that. I just tune into my non-physical guides and those beings of love, light, and truth who I have been consulting with for years. I, it's, I have a PhD in psychology. Yes, I do. And I've also been a clear channel from the time I was a little girl. And I'm at a place in my life where I can effortlessly blend and intertwine both of those aspects of who I am into a, a weather report that's hopefully helpful and supportive of you and your goals and dreams as you lean into your actualization process. Before we dive in today, I wanted to share with you, if you haven't taken my leadership quiz yes, yet, it's time that you do that. The leadership quiz is on my website. You can go to drrobinmckay.com forward slash leadership quiz. It'll take you right there. But even seasoned leaders, even leaders who have tons of experience, who have accomplished so much, love to take this leadership quiz because it's so different from any other angle or perspective that they've received on their leadership. So if you want a new perspective on how you lead on your leadership style, what your leadership has to do with your sole purpose, for example, that you'll find out in this leadership quiz. So I encourage you to take that and we'll put the link also in the comments section, but you can go to drrobinmckay.com forward slash leadership quiz and take that quiz and then be sure to share your results and tag me in your post so I can see what you got and maybe we can compare notes. All right, so on with the weather report. I'm gonna tune in here and see which the guides wanna use this one. So the way this works is that I tune into my inner guidance and the guides today want to use this Astral Realms Crystal Oracles. Does anyone else collect crystals? I think I'm about three crystals short of an intervention at this point in my life. I've correct, collected rocks my whole life. So um, the crystals are just an extension of that, that hobby that I had when I was a kid. Uh, the crystals that we're looking at this week are going to carry the frequencies. They're going to be very supportive of you and your business or your career. And definitely in terms of actualizing what it is you're, you're leaning into this week. Happy Halloween. Did I say that already? I love today. All right. So this first one is Desert Jasper. And this represents the, ooh, how do we do that? There we go. Desert Jasper represents the frequency of resolve, resolve. So when you are in resolution, you have decided to move in a direction. I think one of the things that thwarts most hopes and dreams is indecision, sitting on the fence, waiting to see what happens, waiting for divine timing, when actually what's true in this universe is that you're the first cause. So the universe moves when you do. So in your resolve to pursue your greatest hopes, dreams, and desires, in your resolve to accomplish something, in your resolve to make the world a better place, whatever that looks like for you, tapping into that frequency of decision is a, it's a third chakra. It's a third energy center um, uh, modality, I will say, or um, process, maybe is a better word to use, that supports the direction of your vision. So you can have a vision. You can see something in your mind's eye. You can have a desire that you can feel in your heart, but without your own will, your own resolve, that vision is most likely to remain in etheric form. What brings your vision into reality is your conscious decision or your conscious resolve to move forward, even if you don't know how, even if you don't know what the next 
17 steps are, the way intuition works is one step at a time, just one step at a time. So the first step is decide. So you can use and activate the energy of desert jasper. If you don't have any uh, physical jasper, just activate the energy of it. And that will be supportive of your own resolve as you move forward into this week. The next card. Hmm, here we go is um, Labradorite. Labradorite. And that is for boundaries. One of the things that we've been talking about recently is establishing and maintaining healthy boundaries. So in so doing, no is a complete sentence. Yes is a complete sentence. Don't let your yeses and nos get, get washed out by your indecision. Don't let your yeses and nos get washed out by people pleasing or by trying to live into somebody else's agenda. Now is the time for you to get crystal clear about what your boundaries are, where your limits are, and to hold the boundaries. I forget who said this, but somebody did. They said the only people who get mad at you for setting boundaries are the ones who benefit from you having none. So if somebody gets mad at you for setting a new boundary, for making a shift in your life that maybe they don't agree with, that's okay. They have an opportunity to just show you who they are and it's your job to believe them. So setting boundaries this week and fortifying them, shoring them up with health practices, enough electrolytes, enough sleep, enough exercise, muscle training, weight training, those kinds of things physically are going to be supportive of your energetic boundaries. And you can access the frequency of Labradorite the, the beautiful crystalline energy to support your boundaries as well. And then this one is turquoise. Boy, we're getting resolved boundaries. And this one goes hand in hand with that. And that is perseverance. It's turquoise. So turquoise is considered an earth element. It is contributing to you feeling grounded and present in your physical body. One of the other things that thwart somebody from actualizing their greatest hopes and dreams or any hopes and dreams, whether they're your greatest ones or just small ones, is whether or not you're fully in your body. If you're not fully embodied, if your consciousness, your spirit is not fully in your body, once again, the actualization or the manifestation of your, your goals is going to be definitely delayed, if not put on pause. So coming into your body, activating the energy and the perspective of perseverance that I will stay the course. I stay the course. I lean into the unknown. These are the attitudes, mindsets, and practices that are going to be supportive of what you're wanting to create, even when it feels hard, even when you don't know where to get started. You know, a lot of the people I work with are very high ability, but they also have ADHD. And one of the hardest things for people with ADHD is getting started. Once we get started, we usually can persevere through hyper-focus and things like that, but really it's the getting started piece. So using these additional frequencies to support you as you get started, as you move into the next step and take it, and then persevere through it one step at a time, one step at a time. And that moves the needle faster than anything else, anything else at this point for you. Okay, and last card, let's see outcome. There we go. Um, oh, I'm upside down here. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. And then Spirit Quartz is the last one and Spirit Quartz is the healing card, the healing frequency. So, Overall this week, we're looking at deep-seated healing for those aspects of you who would want to give up, who would be discouraged, who would feel overwhelmed by the duty, responsibility, obligation that you find yourself encountering. And we would ask for healing around that so that you've got a healthy relationship with your work and so that you can hold the bigger vision of what's possible for you and your life. So you can hold the bigger vision of that. 
one of the most disappointing things I find, especially for visionary leaders, and you'll know if you take the quiz that I was talking about earlier, if you're a visionary leader, you'll totally relate to this. It's the capacity to be able to see what's possible in the future, to hold that vision. But then the challenge for visionary leaders is that when you open your eyes or when you look around your life and that vision hasn't come into reality yet, it can be very discouraging. If you're a visionary leader, and you're having that experience, this is your opportunity this week to heal around that perseverance and the resolve and the, uh, the boundaries in order to start bringing those heart's desires into your, into your physical reality. So that's your reading for this week. Happy Halloween once again. I know I said that like 17 times, but I do love this day. And um, take the quiz. Let me know what you got. And I will see you next week.